Greetings, one and all. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the layers of elementary canal. Basically, the elementary canal is nine feet, nine. F uh, it is nine meter long, thirty feet. It is nine meter long. It is thirty feet, and this is made up of th four layers. Uh, the inner innermost layer. First, we are going to discuss the outermost. Outermost layer is the serosa. This is serosa layer. Basically, this layer serosa is made up of um, simple squamous epithelium, and as it is the outermost layer, it allows the protection, and that contains uh, simple squamous epithelium, as well as this layer is also known as a peritoneal layer because it contains a peritoneum. It is known as peritoneal layer because it contains peritoneum. As well as it also contains a uh, connective tissue layer as well as simple squamous epithelium for protection. After which, there is the second uh, a layer which is known as second layer which is known as the muscularis layer. Muscularis layer is the layer which is present after the serosa, and uh, that is basically the part which contains which is a thickest layer. It is the thickest layer. Of the elementary canal, which consists of two parts: outer part, which is the longitudinal muscle layer, and inner part, which is the circular muscle layer. Generally, the muscularis layer is not visible, but it is present in the structure of elementary canal. Uh, outermost is like longitudinal, innermost is circular muscle layer. But in stomach, there uh, is another layer. Inside the muscularis, which is known as the oblique muscle layer, in which the oblique muscle layer is the innermost layer and the circular muscle layer is the middle one, and longitudinal muscle is the outer one. And oblique muscles also help in churning in uh, stomach. So here, muscularis basically is having a circular and longitudinal muscles, and between the circular and longitudinal muscle layer, uh, there is the presence of autonomic neurons. These autonomic neurons contain the mind reflexes and submucosal plexus. Both of these combine together to form the intramural plexus. And uh, what is the function of mind reflexes first? Mind reflexes uh, basically is the plexus. It basically generates mobility and movement of the circular and longitudinal muscles by contraction and relaxation of circular and longitudinal muscles due to which there is generation of peristaltic movement or other types of uh, yeah so here uh, this this is basically responsible for uh, generation of mobility and movement within the longitudinal circular muscles due to which there is contraction and relaxation of circular and longitudinal muscles due to which there is Circular contraction and relaxation of longitudinal muscles and circular muscles due to which there is the generation of peristaltic movement. Uh, after which, uh, there is another muscle, oblique muscle, which is present inside the stomach, which helps in the churning process, which we will uh, further discuss separately when it will come to the part of the stomach. Apart from which, we are having submucosal plexus that is uh, present in. This is responsible for generating the response of uh, producing mucus. After which, there is the mucosa layer. Mucosa layer is basically uh, the layer which is having no glands, no digestive glands are present except the esophagus. In esophagus, there are multicellular glands in submucosa, and submucosa is found thickest in the esophagus because it is consisting of multicellular glands. Gland in submucosa. Uh, and that is basically uh, this structure which is present here is of the it is the structure of esophagus in the diagram so here glands are in submucosa which contains a multicellular gland and a duct is also arise from the, these multicellular glands after which there is mucosa innermost layer and this innermost layer contains digestive glands while submucosa doesn't contain digestive glands submucosa also protects the submucosa because it is present before the mucosa and it consists of three layers from outer side it is having the muscularis mucosa after which there is lamina propria after which there is mucosa epithelium first muscularis mucosa is the outermost layer of the submuco uh, the outermost layer of the mucosa muscularis mucosa is the outermost layer of the mucosa and that muscularis mucosa is the outermost layer of the mucosa which basically consists of uh, yeah so here muscularis mucosa is the outermost layer of mucosa which consists of the following parts, which includes the smooth muscles, 
smooth muscles as well as apart from the smooth muscles it is it also contains the chief cells and parietal cells uh, in stomach but in uh, different organs there would be different uh, cells present inside it but mainly we consider that to be smooth muscles so chief cells and parietal cells are present in the stomach in muscular and smooth cells after which lamina propria in which it is a fiber like structure basically it is a fiber like structure while the submucosa is also a fiber like structure it is also a fiber like structure it is having fiber like structure and apart from its fiber like structure it is having blood vessels and nerves submucosa is having blood vessels and nerves blood vessels such as it is having blood vessels for transportation as well as uh, it is having blood vessels for transportation as well of gases and nutrients in the same case we are having uh, blood vessels and fiber like structures in lamina propria in lamina propria there are fiber like structures and blood vessels and these blood vessels allow first of all these allow the absorption of water and electrolytes so water and electrolytes are absorbed in the lamina propria blood vessels of mucosa due to which the water and electrolytes are absorbed apart from which there is the transportation of nutrients and gases and transportation of nutrients and gases which is done by the blood vessels of course fiber like structure as well as they contain some lymphatic vessels as well which produce lymphocytes and which contains lymphocytes and for protection and apart from this there is uh, epithelial layer now epithelial layer is divided is the innermost layer of uh, the complete layers of elementary canal and this epithelial layer is basically um, the epithelial layer is uh, dependent on two types two types are there of the epithelial layer first is the mucus secreting epithelial cells as well as the enzyme secreting epithelial cells mucus secreting epithelial cells form the mucus epithelium which secrete uh, mucus uh, which allows the lubrication as well as it also allows the protection of the internal uh, protection of the innermost layer of the elementary canal from enzymes as well as the acidic nature of enzymes and uh, acids or juices which are released inside the elementary canal gastrointestinal tract cavity within the elementary canal so in order to protect them that also works in this condition and for providing lubrication wetness to food as well as allow it to uh, it also allows the food to become wet as well as allows uh, the process of uh, peristalsis so accordingly uh, that is also responsible for it and secondly enzyme secreting cells which includes uh, enzyme secreting cells such as um, there are different cells i won't be discussing that right now because we have to discuss that in our upcoming part of stomach and uh, small intestine esophagus etc and here this is all i guess uh, nothing else is left behind uh, one more point that uh, females are having uh, their mucosa in females the mucosa is thinner as compared to males so this is another point after which um, there is uh, I guess this all uh, and hopefully uh, you enjoy the video and we are gonna meet again in another